All right. Um, basically, I'm in my cellar, and this is a massive, massive panel that I got from a building that was getting demolished. Um, I believe this was actually a control unit for the um, air conditioning system. It's got a system off auto on, a trip supply one, airflow supply fan, blah blah blah, that, that, and you've got a main isolator, a panel alive and a time clock. Um, on the inside there were a load of uh, yeah on the inside it's got din rail din rail din rail then uh, trunking stuff in between um, I've basically just stripped it out so that I can rewire it there uh, all the wires that have come out some of the contractors contactors even that have come out Relay, yeah, some of them, and a. This is a timer. Um, unfortunately for me, the lowest this can go is 18 seconds, so I'm gonna have to use a different one. Where the lowest it can go is three seconds. What that does is, um, basically, when you apply power to it, it switches some contacts on after a set time. This can go from 18 seconds to 10 minutes, but I need one that can go down to um, 1 second or below. Because basically, what I'm going to use this panel for is basically the same thing that photonic induction's done. My power system, let me get this torch, not power system, but power supply from the grid is on economy 7. So you can see our meter there has two tariffs. So what that box is going to do is charge up batteries in the uh, night time and in the daytime the lights are going to be powered from the batteries. Um, I'm also going to make it so I can run the whole house apart from the um, shower and cooker. They're just the shower and cooker are always going to be from the grid. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to go into detail too much about it now. Um, that will come in other videos. But getting this whole unit for free has saved me probably over 200 quid on on the whole project. Um, pretty much the only thing I need now is batteries, inverters and chargers um, though I probably will need a few more bits and bobs um, yeah I'll uh, keep uh, regular updates about this project as I go along so thank you for watching